right. I wasn't going to do this video because it's just a power pack. And I thought, well, I can make it into a video. But everybody knows how to do power packs, do they? So, yeah, my, um, if you can see there, can you? That's my main power pack for all my main Amigas. My main Amigas. For all my Amigas. <clears throat> So that runs me 500, me 600, me 1200. A couple of days ago, I started to make this high pitched squeech noise. <laughs> yeah. And it's about time I changed the power pack. So I've got another one. It's just as old as that, so yeah. This is a spare one. The, the reason I don't use this is because it's a nick in the cable. It's there. Yeah, it hasn't gone all the way. Camera. Now it hasn't gone all the way through. Puzzle Force! Puzzle Force! Uh, where was I? Postman. Um, yeah, so anyway. I'm going to take the insides out on this. There's no point but fixing that cable and then using this again because they're both just as old as each other. So it's only going to go in the end. This is the RT50. B, yeah, come on camera, yeah, live, neutral, and earth, so standard mains, AC, of course it's, be, it's not going to be DC is it, <coughs> and you got your NC, then you got V3, which is minus 12 volts, plus V2, which is your plus 12 volts, you come, then we've got plus 5 volts, and then there's an adjuster to tweak your 5 volts. Basically dead simple. I hope. If you notice something, <coughs> all the Amiga chaps out there, you'll know what this is. Your power switch. There's always a cable sticking out the front. It looks like that. God camera. So you've got your power switch and then you've got this cable sticking out. And then on the back you've got cable feeds to the computer. I'm going to get rid of that cable, put it around here. And I'll just have one main switch here. Which these switches are alright. There's no indication that it's on. Unless you look down at the one. There's been many a times I've switched it off or switched it on. And it's been off or on. So yeah. I'm going to change that. I'm going to have a, a lit switch. So when this power power's on the switch is lit up and it's off. The switch obviously isn't lit up. I hope. Now, I'm going to have some holes I need to fill. So I've got um, a 3D pen, a printer filament it uses, PLA. I'm going to fill these holes, send them down, and then we're going to give it a nice spray job. Yeah, so let's get this open and strip it out. And when you open these, be careful, because there's um, bastards in there, large storage capacitors. You don't want to touch them. <laughs> Although it's been standing for a while, it hasn't been used for a good few months. There could still be voltage in those capacitors. I think one's over 300 volt one. I ain't sticking my tongue on that. Right, so that's that open. Yeah, and that's the inside. It's a bit, um, yeah, it's a bit minging. Right. Down the way. Yeah. Let's get this one out as well. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to give that a wash up. No. no, I was wrong. It's a 400 volt capacitor. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely don't want to stick your tongue on it. So, what I'm going to do is cut these cables off. Cut these cables off. Bin this. This one. Yeah. Where's that? Let me put that there. Oh yeah. That's how snug it fits. I'll have to switch it here. I'll have to switch this side because there's a Commodore logo here. Yeah. On this one, it's at the back, so you don't see it. I'll have it this way. Block up that hole, 
Actually, I won't bother that hole. I'll just extend that hole and use that as my switch. And then these two, I'll widen that hole so it fits in the other cable. And both cables come out this way. And then I've got the Commodore logo up there. Yeah, that'll work. So all I've got to do is uh, extend that hole there with the uh, 3D pin and open that little for the switch. <laughs> it's going to be a bit easy, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> it was Andy. <laughs> Things just fall into place, I suppose. I'm going to make a coffee. Scratch me up for five minutes, make sure I'm happy. And uh, we'll make a start and hopefully the switch will be here. What I'm going to do is this hole's at the right height. This one's a bit too long. So I'm going to raise this up to the same height as this hole here. So I'm just going to take a measure like that and transfer it to this one. That way. So I'm just you're probably not going to see, but there's two little score lines going right across. They're only light. I'm not bothered because the whole thing is going to get sanded down, resprayed once I'm finished. I'm going to fill it up with that. It's my 3D pen. And a little tool. It comes with really handy. So let's just mark them with a marker. So I want to fill it to that. So that's how much we've got to fill. Oh, okay. That's how much we've got to fill up to that line there. So what I'm just doing is just filling this gap up. Right. So we filled it up. Just let it to set a little bit longer. It's still a bit squishy to the touch. Then what we'll do is yeah, no, give me neck ache, that's what we'll do. Okay then. So once this is set. Start sanding it down and smoothing it out. And if it needs a bit more fill, I'll do a little bit more and carry on. Right, let's check. Make sure that's fine. Got to plump that in there. Plump that in there. Let's get the load done. The right way. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Alright. Come on, Amazon. I want my switch. Bingo. I'm not bingo switches. It's a rock switch. They're bigger than I thought they'd be. <laughs> yeah. You definitely have to open that. <laughs> I didn't think it was that big. Yeah. I should go like that. Yeah. There we go. Switchy, switchy. First go, I'm bad guess. Got a nice big luminous rocker switch. So when it's off, you won't see anything. So when you power it on, the whole light, the whole switch lights up. Um, doesn't say which side's which. Oh, by the way, these come from Amazon. quid for two. So if you're interested in doing something like this, you might want to get the smaller ones though. It's like four times the size of the normal switch. But yeah, actually it's not too bad. Right, I've told him case out, so I've given them a light sand and then I've just given them a spray so while they're set out there drying off. Uh, we've got a switch. So we've got on the switch you've got live this side. Neutral this side, the neutral out and live out. And then what that does is when you switch it on, it lights up, switch it off, it goes off. If you want it continuous, you put your live on top and your neutral on top there, and then bring them out. 
and it'll be permanently lit on whether it's on or off so it defeats the object so we won't do that we'll do live at the bottom neutral at the bottom we need to take our live in which is a brown wire it's a bottom switch neutral which is your blue it goes to that side of the switch then we'll take another live feed out and another neutral out and then add it to the pack right, I've stripped all the cables got all the ends ready just experiment in a minute what the hell come here get off get over there. stick it back for them. a bit dangerous so don't be doing it don't copy me I'm winging this so we've got a power pack, got a mains lead, don't worry it's not plugged in. I wouldn't see it between my legs if it was plugged in, that's for sure. There's a switch. Now on here we've got coming from the mains. We've got the blue and brown. Brown being live, blue being neutral. So neutral it comes up here to the right hand side of the switch. Live comes this side. And then on top, the live comes out, and the neutral comes out. So there. So theoretically, having it that way, when I switch this on, it should light up. Theoretically. It's made in China, so it might blow up. Yeah, right. So that's live now. 240 volts. So don't be touching it. Don't be touching it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to touch it. And this, is it even in frame? It's not even in frame, is it? There you go. <sighs> There you go. So to this, when I switch this on, it should light up. Yeah. Precautions. Just move back a bit. Yeah. Wait. Can you see? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What do you know? <laughs> I ain't playing with power packs. You don't play with power packs. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. Don't be doing that. I don't know what I'm doing but I did it but don't you do it. If you're wondering well there's a wire there now you could just hang in there. It's earth. Don't matter. I can hold on to that. I can stick it in my mouth and it'll be fine. Don't do that either. Jeez. I get so many lawsuits over this. <laughs> if you blow yourself up don't mention I told you so. I ain't telling nobody so. This is for my benefit. This is what we call a midweek quickie. That's what we'll call this segment, a midweek quickie. Yeah, don't blow yourself up. Please. Let's move that now. Now that works, I can aim. I can aim. What can I aim? Oh, yeah, I can do this properly now. So now what I'm going to do at the moment is just bare wires. So I'm just going to insulate them all with a heat, bit of heat shrink. So. Don't really need to see me do that. So in like two seconds I'll be done. Now we've done that bit. This is the um, power socket. What goes inside? Right. So basically, brown is your plus twelve. Your white is your negative twelve. Minus twelve. Black is ground. Yellow, shield, or earth. Red. Is your 5 volt. So your V3 will be white, which is your minus 12 volt. Your plus V2 is your plus 12, which will be your brown. Anyway. Your com is common ground, which will be your black. And here, the last one is red, 5 volt. This little boy here, little yellow one, which is your shield, earth, goes to earth here. It also has that earth from the mains in to it. Yeah. So you want them to in that one earth. Yeah, goes in the case. Stick it back foam. Take this power back out. Just going to cushion it a bit. Stop it from rattling. And then it fits snug as a bug in a rug like that. Just 
put two screws in it for now so we can test it. See what happens. Ah. There you go. Can you see? I think you can. Yeah, well, bring you in a bit. There you go. See Commodore, if you're still alive, Commodore Design Department. That's how you make a power pack. The cable's at the back. Nobody likes the cable sticking out the front. Jeez. Right, let's do a quick test because I am going to plug it into one of the Amigas. <laughs> and it's not going to be my bouncy ball 1200 and it's not going to be 500 plus either. <laughs> It's gonna be 600 because I can't stand the bloody things. <laughs> they're they're all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you see the meter? Yeah. All right. So test our plus 12. There we go. Just the bell. 11 and a half. Good enough. A minus 12. There you go. Minus 12. Uh, five volt. Yeah. Five volt. Uh, God, that's over. I hate playing with power packs. Right. How's your head? I'm gonna put some feet on it. It hasn't got any feet for some reason. It's got these edges things there, but um, Yeah, we'll go for the clear. Clear round. Um, there's not many spaces for feet here, is there? One there. There. Get rid of them. If you're a tinkerer, definitely buy these. Amazon. I think it's 2,000 feet, different shapes and sizes. Is it 2,000 or 600? Something like that. Best buy ever, I think it's 799 or something like that. Coming very handy. I mean, <laughs> they're not cheap for either. <laughs> Come here, test dummy. Oh, I have got some to retro, but I've still got this to do. Right. Let's move you over. You don't need to see my beautiful face every five minutes. Right, he's ready for this. <laughs> if it goes bang, it's only 600, don't worry about it. <laughs> There's no way I've blown on me 12 and 5. No chance. Ready? Smoke test. Ready, come on. Yeah. Nice power pack that. Better than that bloody thing. So yeah, the reason I did that was, like I said at the beginning, this was making a whistle inside. It's generally a good sign that it's on its way out. <laughs> It normally follows the whistling sound, normally follows the smell. A fishy smell. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, I plugged in the end. Keyboard. Okay. Anyway. Midweek quickie, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just a thumbs up or down. Drop a comment. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Cheers. See you soon. Yeah.